Welcome back to another episode of the Answers for Everything podcast. Don't forget to like and share on our socials. And if you have any questions that you want us to answer, you're probably just as crazy as we are. But reach out on Instagram at AFE underscore podcast. That's A is an Apple, F is in Frank, E is an Edward, then the underscore symbol, then the word podcast. So pour yourself a stiff drink and enjoy the show. Hello, hello, hello. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Scusi. Scusi. Yes. Do you guys want to hear about Cameron John, 26 year old from Australia? Sure do. All right. All right. So the title of the new story is McDonald's customer gobsmacked after wild find in his chip packet. Chip packet in his fry Correct. container? He, he found what? A surprise, a wild find. What do you guys suspect or guess that it might be? It's got to be a tiddly wink. Uh, a Lee press on nail. Okay. What if I told you it was a fry? Oh, was it in the shape of Jesus, our Lord and Savior? <laughs> Aren't all fries in the shape of <laughs> Jesus, our Lord and Savior? <laughs> that would be interesting. Can I get a pack of Jesus? <laughs> Well, maybe can I get a, a, Texas, can, can can I get a lot of Jesus. Yeah, size medium. Oh, that's medium a lot of Jesus. Jesus. It's a Jesus train. Mm-hmm. All right. So Cameron John, 26 years old, was shocked to find a lengthy French fry in his McChicken meal on Wednesday. Find out how long it is by reading the story below. So it shows three pictures, one with his fry container, one with him with the fry hanging out of his mouth and hanging down to the lower than the middle of his chest. Oh, wow. And then one of him holding it upright. So an ordinary trip to McDonald's produced a rare discovery from one Sydney man after the chip he pulled from its box seemed to get longer and longer and longer until it suddenly, until he suddenly realized the thing was the length of his face. So Cameron John (laughs) was visiting McDonald's in Sydney. (laughs) Hold hold on. All I can think of is it's like a clown fry. You know, you just keep pulling it out and it just keeps coming and coming and coming. (laughs) Uh, How many times is it folded in there? Yeah. So Cameron John, 26, was visiting the Rydalmere Maccas. I guess Maccas is their short for McDonald's? Maccas? Like in Canada, we call it McDicks. Rotten Ronnies. (laughs) Rotten Ronnies and McDicks. Any nicknames Charlie Ray for McDonald's in the States? Uh, Not that I'm aware of. I mean, I'm sure there is. I I know Filipinos. I don't know of any. Filipinos call it McDo. 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 Huh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh in Sydney's West with his partner, brother, and friend on Wednesday, and was happily tucking into his McChicken meal when he found the, and I quote, biggest chip ever. I couldn't believe it. I was gobsmacked. I've never seen a Macca's fry or any other French fry close to half the size of this thing was. It got bigger and bigger and it was larger than my head. He estimates it was roughly 40 centimeters long. So Charlie Ray, that's more than a foot. Yeah. Like my dong. Yeah. Well, thickness. The length yeah. is only like eight millimeters, but it's like 42 inches or 42 centimeters around. You like, you have the perfect chode. The perfect yes. chode. Uh, ooh, it, was, it was cooked perfectly and salted perfectly to my surprise, he said. Despite being impressive, the record for the longest French fry is 86 centimeters, almost double oh. the size of Cameron's find. That's going to be a hell of a potato. I was going to say, I was going to say, where'd that potato come from? Ooh, it's funny you ask, because listen to this. The record for the heaviest potato is similarly staggering, coming in at 4.6 kilograms. It's like 10 pounds. That's huge. For That's one probably mealy, though, no? Uh, with with a UK man, Peter Glazerbrook, holding the esteemed title of growing it. An Aussie gardener living in New Zealand came close to setting a new record in 2021 after finding a potato just under 8 kilograms in his backyard. That's really weird. It says that the heaviest is 4.6. And they said this guy came close. Oh, so he beat the other one. Well, no, he still said it. That's weird. Eight kilograms is more than four point six. 
<laughs> not in fucking Australia, apparently. <laughs> so, so how could the 4.6 be the record? Anyway, I'll they just probably had him killed. I'm just going to keep reading it and forget that the math doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah. So after finding a potato just under eight kilograms in his backyard in Hamilton. However, oh, this is this is where the trick. Comes. Uh. However, after submitting lots of paperwork and lovingly nicknaming the find Doug, the Guinness World Records came back with DNA results proving it wasn't a potato, but instead a tuber. 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 Like a big knot of... Tube? Like a like a sweet like a sweet potato is a tuber. It looks like oh, a wow. bunch of potatoes stuck together. That's oh. why he's cheating. So, yeah, they probably grew a bunch of potatoes close together in the ground, and they oh, stuck together, okay. so it's not one potato. Uh, he filled it with lead in the center. Whoops! <laughs> They're all connected with wire on the inside. <laughs> that you lift it up, it's made out of paper mache. <laughs> yeah, it rattles when you shake it. Get out of here, buddy. So yeah, forty centimeters long french fry and yeah like josh said like how many times is that fucking folded inside the package it just came yeah. out like a slinky <laughs> i don't know like if you worked at mcdonald's and you were in charge of putting fries in the fry later and you saw one that big would you give that to a customer or would you be like that motherfucker i would have kept that totally yeah. you're not getting that fucking thing i, yeah. I would have immediately rushed over to hobby lobby got them to measure some wood get some wood matting frame that sucker <laughs> put it behind glass there you go and call it our largest French fry, almost as large as my dong. Almost around. They would have hawk tooed and spit on that thing. And then, yes, that's <laughs> right. That's a lot of hawk tooing. That's it, a lot to cover. It is. And I really hope that it lets a lot of schnitz out of the end. Yeah. Sure. Of course. <laughs> yes. And that that's well, my new story of the week or of 2021. I don't know when it came out, but Cameron from Sydney. 40 centimeter wow, French fry at McDonald's. And he just ate it? Did he, did he even stop to take a picture of the French fry? Yeah, there's three pictures. Remember, there's one inside the box. There's one hanging from yeah, his mouth. Yeah. There's one just in the middle of the air. He's holding That's it up. That's right. So yeah, he took I, a bunch I, of pictures and then ate it. I, I do have a new story to share Ooh. if, if yes. you want. Yeah, I, I thought of it while you're talking about this. Well, you thought uh, of a new I, story? Well, no, no. I, Fake news. I thought of one that I read. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if either of you has really paid attention to the World Olympics. Are you paying any attention to that? Uh, well, after I saw the opening ceremony, I was a check, please. Have really? you seen? Have you seen the footage of the French pole vaulter Anthony Amarati? I sure have. Basic, yes, he had he two poles for pole vaulting. <laughs> that's right. He uh he uh could not clear the pole because his his. His le pole was too big and apparently seemed to knock the top of uh, – he couldn't clear the pole because his junk was just so massive. And so uh, apparently, although he did not metal in the event, he has received a staggering amount of phone numbers. That's I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I'm guessing it is. What has Dong prevented him from getting over there? Yes. There is like close-up footage of him <laughs> trying to clear the pole and his just big-ass Johnson just going – Slow motion and flopping over it is pretty yes. good. Yes, he needs yeah, to stick he, it in a fan blade or two. He, he <laughs> like goes over and he comes down, and his whole body's over, but his Johnson is out there so much it just hits the pole and just goes wow <laughs> before he so it knocked, nailed. So it knocked, yeah, I think he was so. strap it to his leg. Yeah, duct tape that it, sucker down. I, I, well, I mean, do you really want to duct tape your weeder to anything? Maybe. No, no. I, I it made me think of the uh that story that we've talked about before where the guy's going through the airport and it's yeah. like, is that a weapon in your pants? <laughs> no, that's just my penis. So yeah, now that guy does uh, Olympic runs. That's what he does. <laughs> He's gonna get a whole lot of new sponsorship abilities coming up. That's all I gotta say. Magnum uh, Johnson the Magnum Brats. Yes. Johnson Brats. Johnsonville. Johnsonville. They they do brats, don't they? They must. Yeah, I know. I, uh, hi, I'm Am Anthony Emirati, and I know sausages just like yeah. these Johnsonville brats. Sign them up for those sponsorships. That's right. So that's just my little funny and story. You get him to Anybody... partner up with with Huck to a girl, and they're both billionaires in a week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, no Olympics that's for it. me. <clears throat> I, I'm with you, Josh. I don't understand how. Uh, how how do I put it? without being rude. Everybody deserves their right to shine on a stage. Everyone, right? Maybe not a serial rapist or a murderer. But anyway, 
most other people deserve that right. I just don't understand how the Olympics would decide that this was a good platform for their opening ceremonies. Like you're you're in Paris, France, the the culture, the art, the food, the yeah. wineries. Like France is known for all that shit. You should really be showcasing that for the Olympics. Let's not some nuts. But and yeah. now blue and blue Jesus. <laughs> or whatever he was supposed to be. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fucked up, right? This is not yeah. that was the last supper, all right. Yeah, it it, it it apparently was so embarrassing that they took it off of their web page for the Olympics. Okay, so you say that, and I believe you, but then you have to think about there's a committee that this goes through. So this thing gets discussed ad nauseum from meeting yeah. to meeting to and meeting. They all to... agreed. They were like, "This is a fantastic idea." Yeah, how does it get through like twenty meetings to be like, "This is going to showcase us. Like, this is where we stand out." This is what we need to show the world. And everybody's like, yeah, stamp it, rubber stamp it, man. Approve it, approve it. Yeah, that'll and, be great. Yeah. And then eight seconds after it's on, you're like, okay, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. Like, did you not even once consider that that would be an option? Yeah. It is indeed boggling to the mind. I will say that. At least we can yeah. be entertained by the the two-eyed open t-shirt wearing gunman who is fucking amazing. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, and, and the dude with the big Johnson, the the double yes. pole vaulter. You know, you know, I thought about a lot of things. Not a lot about the Olympics this week, but one of the things that always surprises me is exactly how do you get to the point where you consider this sport is either no longer worthy of being in the Olympics, or it's a sport that deserves to be in the Olympics. MMA and should be in the yeah. Olympics. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if judo is, I mean, I think we can move Ridiculous up a little bit. Ridiculous that it's not in there. Wait, wait, really? What? Judo's not in the Olympics? No, well, judo, judo is. is, but MMA yeah. isn't. And okay. I believe that mixed martial arts should have its own place in the Olympics or else what are we doing? Yeah. It's the biggest, yeah. one of the biggest sports in the world right now. What, what are the things that aren't there that should be there? Just MMA that you're thinking? Just for me, because that's all I care about as far as sports. Okay. And what are the things that are in the Olympics that you think shouldn't be? I don't most, pay attention. <laughs> most of the events? Like, what the fuck? I don't care about... I guess, like, some of the stuff like discus and javelin, that's cool, because that harkens back to the origins, the yeah. Greek origins of the stuff. I like that kind of stuff, but there's, like, too many diff like different types of races that are so fucking similar, but they're like, oh, one, yeah. like there's one hurdle here, and there's two hurdles. Like, hey, hey, hey. Let's simplify it and make it more streamlined and add in some some different stuff like MMA. You, you would think if you can train for jumping over two hurdles, you, you'd you still be pretty good at training for jumping over one. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> and it's just there's too many stupid uh, sports. And, and there's a lot of water events. I mean, if you're going to but if you're going to go classic and harken it back to ancient Greece, I, I think we need to go full naked oiled bin for the, oh, yeah. uh, the wrestling competitions just you know get that get that pole vaulter with this huge johnson <laughs> yeah. out there make him wrestle some huge adonis guy and then new submission rules but by the way things are going for the for France, <laughs> it probably will be <laughs> after their opening ceremonies i could see them adding drag racing and then you're waiting for the cars and it's just a bunch of dudes dressed in women running around a track. You're like, what the fuck is going on? I was I was here for fast cars drag racing for point A to point B. They're like, no, no, this is a much better drag race. This, is what, France, this is what France stands for. This is us. Yeah. They're going to give you a new definition of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, so. I, I kind of like the old definition. Three dudes <laughs> together. This is a new one. Wait, three dudes together? Did I say that right? No, it's I mystery. thought it was. I thought it was a girl and two dudes. I guess so in your world, whatever. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It, you know, it's interesting to think. We won't be here to see it, but what could be the Olympic sports 100 years from now? Seriously. I mean, it could uh, be vastly. Well, <laughs> today we have competitive survival. We're facing <laughs> off against mutated uh, it's lions. The, fucking, the Hunger Games 100 years yeah. from there, now. There will be no Olympics eventually, I think. Well, I mean, because think about it, there's going to be one country who takes over the rest of the fucking planet, and who are they going to compete against themselves? China. <laughs> well, no, they'll, they'll just divide themselves into districts like that, and then they'll have district. District competition. nine. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, I'm, we got I'm some, for anyone we, named Katniss. We, 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 we got we got some great mm-hmm. freestyle. We got some great freestyle. You know, rowboat across the the channel the channel type competitions. Chanel, yeah. yeah, the Chanel Chanel number five. You know, we've got the uh, you know we've got the the amazing you know flash mob and destroy a shop you know competition. Uh, you know, we got well, all kinds many, of possible potential. How so. much stuff can you loot out of the store? <laughs> That's right. That's a good one. You know, who can right. build a, a seven course meal out of dumpster diving? The, the 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 fastest ability to make a Molotov cocktail, light it and throw it thirty yards. You know, stuff like that. You know, and useful how much stuff. It does. Who, who can cover their fifteen minute city in five minutes or less? That's right. You know, and then and then champion like uh, Yuli's camera cutting down competition with a hacksaw. You know, stuff like that. You know what that is, right? I don't. Oh, it's the that's what happening in London where they have all these they call them this U L E Z. They have cameras where they're monitoring for cars of past a certain age that don't pass like emissions control and they find them. So like wow. banditos are going out at night and like cutting these things down, like spray painting them over, covering them in foam, yeah, doing did, all kinds of shit. Didn't we talk about the the loud cameras in Canada? That there were, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There the was gunshot. Uh, you have the loud video cameras that if your car is too loud, you get fined for decibels. Like if your muffin is oh, yeah. too loud, it's like a red light camera, but it's like recording sound as you drive by it. And then it takes a picture of your license plate and says, your muffler is too loud. Here's your $200 ticket. Like, or just, better wow. yet, a box to inspection where you are you can't even drive your car anymore. Oh, fuck. I got one of those yeah. ones for my loud exhaust. And like I had a super expensive custom exhaust, but yeah. it was pretty loud. And a cop pulled me over and he's like, here's a, it's a box to inspection. And when I went to take it to the mechanic to see what the inspection would entail and stuff, he's like, you're, you're never going to pass this. None of this exhaust is legal. Like you have to have everything back to stock. So I essentially had to just junk the car. What the fuck? It was bullshit. Wow. So Freedom! They, they, didn't, they didn't get the money they thought they were going to get. No. I guess they won. So yeah. I had Jamie send you guys a nice little picture of something I found. Is it my wiener? This, this may be. Oh, that's your penis. This may be the island that I need to purchase to create my sex cult upon. <laughs> island and, uh, of Dr. Moreau. Weird. And check this out. Would you buy a six acre Drake's Island near Plymouth with a private beach and 15 ghosts? Oh, yeah, I would. Oh, that's and better than 15 goats. It's a six acre island off the Devon coast, complete with private beach, fortifications, planning f- permission for a luxury hotel as well. And it comes with the cannons. It takes Trump. less than 10 minutes to reach by boat. And once on land, there's a military history everywhere from old barracks to artillery batteries, complete with shell shafts and underground gunpowder stores. It's already got half the shit I need. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, not need, but want. It's yeah. you know, you just change those words. It's not what you need. No, I definitely need those no, cannons. Okay. And it's got yeah. ghosts. Another layer of protection. <laughs> or harassment. Nice. Or terror. But I mean, what if do you're they say here. Where is it? You said England? Yeah, it's in England. It's off the Devon coast. And that might be better to be out in England, man. Yeah. What's the price? What is a what does that baby run me? It says the price isn't yet decided. It has no fixed guide price, but the renovation alone will be around twenty five million pounds. Oh, so forty five million like, dollars? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Huh. I mean, it's a little bit out of my price range, but I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can. How much? How much is semen or blood worth when you sell it? Can yeah. I get forty five million? It'll take a while. Says you. A couple thousand years. Oh, shitty. And apparently so. all the ghosts are soldiers. And they are here to protect us. That's what they did when they were alive. And that's what they're still doing. Oh, so they're good ghosts. They're good ghosts. Do you think they can charge based on the ghosts? Well, I'm sure it's already been licensed for a full luxury hotel. So there's some cool shit. I wouldn't want to do that because I wouldn't want guests coming. Yeah. But I would like to build some sort of a bot giant residence of some type. 
it's a cool looking yeah. island. It is very yeah, cool. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say I, I feel like six acres is too small to have a full luxury hotel on it and have enough room to have any kind of sense of movement. Cause I mean that island yeah. I mean that would take up most of the island. It would. So no, I I, I would not want that, but uh it's still pretty cool. Absolutely. It has over 2,000 years of history. That's amazing. I agree. It's, it's, especially because who was writing shit down 2,000 years ago? Yeah, no shit. How do they know that, huh? Yeah. Well, we, f we found some uh, We're fossils. We're guessing we saw some pillars here in the corner. And it's, yeah, a 43-bed hotel it's been huh. agreed for. Huh. That's not that big. Yeah, that, that makes sense with the size of that island. The luxury resort is probably going to be based more on the quality versus the size. And they probably do like tours of like all the military stuff on there and shit, I would assume. You know they're going to do themed ghost rooms. Hell yeah, man. I would just want to stay there by myself so I can get to know the ghosts. See, that's what I'm talking about. Being an adult and rationalizing that shit and actually seeing it, being able to process it. As a kid, you wouldn't be able to, but as an adult, yeah, you can sit there and chill. How great would it be to sit there and have a conversation with a dead soldier from 150 years ago? I don't think you'd get that much out of them. Probably just a couple little spooky things that would happen here and there. Mm. Yeah. That makes me sad. I'd rather sit down and talk to them too. Like, what was that like, man? Smoke some more weed. <laughs> <laughs> is weed legal in uh, the UK? It is on my island. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's how that works. How it works. I don't make the yeah. rules, or do I? <laughs> it's your island, of course you do. My fucking island. Yeah, yeah. that's all uh, I got. Another okay. wonderful episode. Yeah. We got French fries, ghost islands, and huge dongs. Preventing and... victories. Yeah. When your dong gets in the way. When your dong hits your eye, it's like a big <laughs> pizza pie. It's what? a dong, eh? I, I still don't understand, though. Like, is this the first time he's ever gone pole vaulting? Has this never uh, happened uh, before? He's like, what I don't this think so. Happening? Well, I mean, it did happen, like, when he was trying to, like, go for a super, like, tall. It was like 5.5 meters or something. It was pretty high. So, I mean... Yeah, but his, his dong is there every time he pole vaults. It, it's not like it goes somewhere. So this isn't a new thing for him. Can he knock no, the ass just, down just, and just, stick down? Just this particular time, I guess the dong fucking got in his way, you know? Doesn't he, get in his way at the bar, but... He should have taken a page out of the opening ceremonies and tucked. Tucked and rolled? I don't know. I, I would think it's kind of hard to keep it tucked when you're trying to run down a, a runway at full speed with a pole in your hand to take oh. off, you know? Like Josh says, duct tape. Okay. I think he should try that experiment himself and see how it goes. Uh, I know if I tried it, it wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't make a difference. My dog's not going to knock anything over, ever. Hell, it could barely knock a G.I. Joe off a table. It, it it barely touches the end of my underwear when I'm wearing it, <laughs> right? And that's fits. <laughs> Josh is laughing. I think I think Josh really liked that one because I had yes. a visual. Unfortunately, <laughs> you're like, why is his penis an idiot? I don't understand. A small mushroom penis that they just the yeah, they just why? think. <laughs> what's your what's your nickname? Shiitake. Why? <laughs> well, why are his pubes longer than his dick? It's just how he was born. That's true. Well, I mean, quite literally, with pubes. You you guys were born with pubes, right? I was I born don't... with them, no. Oh, shitty. I, I went through them. Oh, I went through puberty at birth. Pretty impressive. And then just stopped? Yeah, but I've never matured. Not stop once. growing, stop that, developing. That's true. That's pretty funny. So I, I Yes indeed. That, does that does that sum up the week? Yeah, that wraps it up for us, I think. In a neat little Sounds package. Sounds good. In a neat little package, right? Yes, absolutely. That fits the theme. It, into an itty bitty ditty bag. There we go. All right, peace out, note alls. Peace out. Peace. Wish you 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 wish you
<laughs> uh, what's, I don't mind what's it number, at all. What's number two here? Uh -huh. Number two. <laughs> number two. Number two. <laughs> number two. On the uh, agenda, easily. What sure. else are we talking about? We could talk about Richard Simmons. Any thoughts on Richard Simmons? Oh, it's pretty cool that what's his name's going to make a movie about him because he looks just like him, Polly oh, Shore. Oh, Polly Shore. Yeah, yeah. I, he does look kind of like him. He'll be perfect he, for that role. Well, yeah. they're, well, they're both Jew. They're both Jewish. They're so, both eccentric uh, and weird. Yeah. But I I was gonna say like Richard you, Simmons didn't yeah. want him doing it. I know What's he that? didn't want him doing it. He didn't want him to do it. No, Richard Simmons no. didn't want him doing it. But guess what? Too late now, bitch. Ahead. You're dead. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's really interesting. I I just uh, I watched a clip Jamie pulled up for me a while ago, and it was Richard Simmons on the uh, uh, whose line is it oh, anyway with so Drew Carey and them. So it is fucking good, hilarious. Yeah, quick, get on the jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> He was just totally in the improv zone for it, yeah. and they were all they were all just game to go as gay and as funny as they wanted to be, and I and it was it was awesome. It was yeah, just it was just wonderful. No holds barred comedy, man. The way it should be. Uh, you know, I I can't say I was ever the biggest Richard Simmons fan in the world, you know, but you know what? I think that the man really did have a good heart. You never heard about really any scandals i don't think from him or anything you know he was around for a long time and then one day he just kind of disappeared he made Basically, a lot of just, money yeah he made a lot of money and i think he was actually really gay wasn't he was not oh, yeah. or did he did, did he never say did he ever actually come out and say i mean i think he was i don't think he had matter. to it, you know I, I don't and it doesn't matter to me if he was or wasn't no i mean i it think it's just I, obvious I, yeah, I think I think that his heart was those, and you know, from what I could tell, I think his heart was in a good place, and he really did want to help people uh, be healthier and and sweating uh, to the oldies. That's right, sweating <laughs> to the oldies. Did you know he used to be on General Hospital? No, who was? I didn't know that. Yeah, when I was when I was a kid, that's where I knew him from because my mom watched General Hospital, so I knew Richard Simmons from that. And then right. after that was sweating to the oldies. I saw. I think he played himself on it, so he was already his celebrity self, but. As a kid, I didn't know that. Did he get possessed? I, I don't I don't know. By the devil? I, I don't know. Maybe there were aliens. I remember on one of those soap operas, there was like they did they went straight exorcist with for like weeks and weeks and one of the you chicks was, was like possessed. Yeah, they've they've done, you know, the the twin brother, the twin sister, they've done aliens, they've done possession, they've they've fucking done it all. You they you're run the gamut. You're doing five days a week on a soap opera, like 300 days out of the year for 30 years. You're going to run out of storylines. Victor Newman. And yeah. Jack Abbott. I remember my mom used to watch the shit out of the young and the restless when I was a kid. So I used to watch tons of it too. Yeah. Like, what is this garbage? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to say some, some, something about Richard Simmons and it's just, uh, you know, he was only 76 years old, which is, which is fairly young, you know. Yeah. This is this is said from a guy who's staring down the barrel of, of 76 <laughs> not being that far away. So. I'd say that's a pretty long life. Do you guys find yeah. it weird that he used to weigh almost 300 pounds like as a teenager? I do find that weird. Richard no, Simmons I don't find it weird. 300 pounds. He sweated to the oldies and it all melted off. Yes, he did. I will tell you what I do find weird is how much hate in commentary, I see about larger people from people who have never been large and have no understanding of what it's like to be a larger person. That's that's what I mean. It's it's one of those things that they – it's a category that can still be used on people or used toward people and that uh, they don't get canceled or anything for it. It's like, oh, you know, fat people are fair game. I, I find that I find that oh fat really women weird. aren't no fat women. Fat Lizzo Lizzo fat gets women. it from every which way yeah but then uh -huh. other people are saying how perfect and beautiful and wonderful oh you be you girl 
But it's unhealthy. That's the problem. I think Bill Burr says it pretty nice. Like, I don't need to be nice to fat people because they can stop shoveling cheeseburgers down their throat anytime they want. They choose not to. And I was like, all oh, right. Some, some people, it's wow. not true, though. They have, like, bad glands or something. Uh, I it's... know somebody who can't break down the fat protein or the protein fat. Uh, they they were at the, they went to the gym for, you know, two years, personal trainer, you know, an hour and a half a day, seven days a week. And they finally found out through their doctor that their body can't break down fat. It's an impossibility because they're missing an enzyme. They went to the gym so much because they didn't want to be the size they were, right? And yeah, it wasn't right. like they were a toothpick and they were just like, you know, crazy wanting but to get But they're not obese. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. like, yeah, their body can't break it down. So there's no point. The personal trainer, the two hours a day, the seven days a week, it's not going to change. It's just going to give you more muscle, which will make you heavier. Heavier, but and, yeah. And and, and there was nothing that was injectable or no, anything they could no take. Pills, there's no, there's nothing to to trick the body into thinking that it has that enzyme. That's when you just embrace it and eat delicious food. Yeah. So, so the only way to not gain more fat is to always be the calorie deficit. But no matter what, you still won't drop weight. You just Correct. won't gain any. Correct. Wow, and that's you, harsh. And you and need probably yeah, a low fat diet would be smart because if you're not breaking it down, high fat's going to be bad. Yeah. I mean, like salads and cereals without like nuts, lots of nuts, protein cereals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Protein, protein, lots of nuts. Okay. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. You don't want the lots of nuts with the protein. No. So you want no. the cereal without the protein. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of veggies. Yeah. That, that, see, that's unfortunate. But, uh, but you know, I'm kind of straying from the topic of Richard Simmons and just, Paying respect to a guy that I think I think he I think he genuinely tried to help people because of what he went through then because he was yeah. larger and he was a teenager and, at the time too right which is like yeah your peers oh, are yeah. bigger assholes when you're in high school than anything oh my god I thought I was so dude I weighed like 160 170 in high school and I felt like a fucking whale and you know what I wasn't if I just stayed that weight I would have just been fine. Yeah, imagine me. But every, but but yeah, but everybody around you was like 115 pounds. Yeah. Fucking shit bags. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Could have used could have used a little bit more of that body positivity when I was younger. Let's just put it that way. I was too skinny. No. Too many people eating too many California potato chips. Let me tell you. Zinger. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Oh. Anyway, right, I'll next? just I'll just say I'll just say a send off to Richard Simmons, man. May you rest in peace. Thanks for uh, thanks for doing the best you could while you were here. So rest in peace, Richard. Sweat. To That's the right. Feet. And and I mean, it, it, dude, he was funny as shit. Yeah, I, I want to thank you for the whose line is it anyway? Because there was no time I watched that clip where I don't laugh my ass off, even if I just watched it. Yeah. And Polly yeah. Shore is gonna kill it, buddy. <laughs> I hope so. I- I hope so. I, I do. I hope he. I hope he pays respect, and I hope they don't make fun of him because I, I know there's a. I think there was a lot of sadness also in Richard's life. So, uh, but hopefully he doesn't dwell on that too much. Hmm. I think if so, they do it the right way, cheers. it'll it'll be good. Yeah. yeah, I hope so. Maybe maybe it'll be a career renaissance for Polly uh, Shore. Uh, I was gonna and say who this... doesn't want who doesn't want that? Everyone wants it. Oh, well, we want to see the weasel. <laughs> The weasel, yeah, you know, and the guy's not suffering. You know, he owns the comedy store. You know, in uh, L.A., he, he's been yeah. in it his whole life, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, his mom owned it, and so yeah. he inherited Mitzi. it. So, yeah. So, so good for him. I got no hate toward the guy. He uh, he rode what wave he could ride, and you know, I hope he does a good job with the with the biopic. You know, I mean, oh, hopefully, hopefully, he, you know, hopefully he has respect for him, and he does a good job, and doesn't like make too much fun of him. You know? Well, I'm sure he's done more with his life than the three of us combined. So, hey, good for you, Paul. Yeah. yeah. Good, good job, for you, Paul. Simmons. He probably banged Richard some Simmons. hotter chicks than I ever banged, too. So. Yeah. No, and that's more, guaranteed. And more at the same time. Why well, it's got to be guaranteed, Josh? Why'd you have to go there? <laughs> well, for all of us. Well, he, yeah. With maybe. our compo- combined rosters, he still wins. Oh, come on. Yeah. It, it, totally. It, if, he's, if he's picking up an average hottie at a Hollywood party, you know she's got to be hot as shit. That's well, why I'm honestly, saying it's obvious. Picture yeah. the mid '90s hotties, and he yeah, stuck all of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, when he was like riding that wave of, of like what from like '90 to, to like '95. Yeah. yeah, yeah, 
Probably when he was yeah. super young, too young as well, because he was around all that shit. Oh, look at how cute he is. That's when somebody behind him came up and said, Maybe Diddy. Got, maybe Diddy got it to him. <laughs> That's right. So. All right.